Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Amy Boucher Pie, and I called our reading A New Command to Love. In a tradition starting as early as the 13th century, members of the royal family in the United Kingdom give gifts to people in need on Monday, Thursday, the day before Good Friday. The practice is rooted in the meaning of the word mandi, which comes from the Latin mandatum, or command. The command being commemorated is the new one that Jesus gave to his friends in John 13, 34, on the night before he died. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Jesus was a leader who took on the role of a servant as he washed his friend's feet. He then called them to do the same. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. And in an even greater act of sacrifice, he laid down his life, dying on the cross. Out of mercy and love, he gave himself that we might enjoy the fullness of life. The tradition of the British royal family serving people in need continues as a symbol of following Jesus' great example. We may not have been born into a place of privilege, but when we place our faith in Jesus, we become members of his family. And we too can show our love by living out his new command— As we depend on God's Spirit to change us from within, we can reach out to others with care, affirmation, and grace. Today's passage from Scripture is from John chapter 13, verses 3 through 5, 12 through 15, and 31 through 35. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with a towel that was wrapped around him. Now picking up at verse 12. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. And now verses 31 through 35. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Join me in praying. Loving Jesus, what a gift of grace you have given us. Thank you for being the ultimate servant, one who lay down your life for us, that we may have life and have it eternally. We thank you and we praise you in your name. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.